I'm back. What up, fam? It's your boy A. A. Ron coming at you guys with a fresh new video. In this video today, guys, I'm gonna be giving you some pretty baller advice for Navy boot camp. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, you guys. So to kick this video off, I'm gonna just get the generic advice out of the way. I'm gonna include the generic advice because it's still good and you still need to apply it. So what you need to do in boot camp in order to be successful is one, take care of each other. Okay. Another one, listen to your RDCs, all right? Yes, they're gonna yell at you and they're gonna try and freak you out and stress you out. Listen, in boot camp, they're gonna give you guys all the answers. It's really just up to you to take that information and apply it, all right? They're gonna give you all the answers. Another key thing you guys need to do is you guys need to communicate with each other, all right? You guys need to communicate, right? You guys will be given a, a mission and there's no point if one of you is like, hey, we should do it this way. Another one is like, hey, we should do it this way. If you guys are going to bicker and argue, you guys are going to just get destroyed by your RDCs. Listen, it's difficult. But if you're arguing with somebody about we need to do, we need to do line handling this way and you know you're right and the other person is wrong and they're just stuck and they just, no, no, it's this way, it's this way. Okay, let's try it your way. Whatever. That's how you guys learn as a team. You guys fail, you fail. If it works, it works. But if you guys fail, hey, let's try it my way now. You know, always have a plan A, B, and C. But now I'm going to give you guys some pretty prestigious advice on how to dominate boot camp together as a division. All throughout boot camp, it's going to appear that you guys are set up for failure. For instance, time frames. I specifically in this video want to talk to you guys about time frames. You guys are not given a lot of time to complete your goals, right? In the morning, Reveille, the time that you guys wake up, 5 a.m., whatever it is. Let's say Reveille is at 5 a.m. Reveille is when they wake you guys up. They're going to say, you guys have 30 minutes to make all of your beds, to get the compartment squared away, to shave, and clean the compartment, right? Getting the compartment squared away means all the racks are aligned, everything is the way it's supposed to be, right? You guys are gonna have 30 minutes to do that. It's really not a lot of time. I might be over exaggerating because I think they actually give you guys like maybe 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, but maybe with the, the shaving included, I think it's a total of 30 minutes. It's really not a whole lot of time. It's really not. You're gonna learn this. They're gonna give you guys during the time when it is like at the end of the night, whatever, when it's time to like chillax and whatnot, when you guys go to like shower and whatnot, they're gonna give the entire division 30 minutes to shower. Actually, I believe it's 45. Yeah, it's 45, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place today. They're gonna give you guys like 45 minutes to shower and clean the compartment. So they're going to commence hygiene, is what they call it. So you have to do hygiene, and you also have to clean the compartment and do laundry. 45 minutes, it's not a, it's not a long time. So how, how do you make time work for you, right? This is the question, right? And it takes a lot of divisions, a, a, a good couple weeks to figure this out. It's all trial, it's all trial and error. Every division does things differently, but the most common method of accomplishing the mission is the one I'm going to tell you guys. Let's start with Reveille. But before we get to Reveille, we're going to go over TAPS, right? So TAPS is lights out. TAPS is when everybody goes to bed. You're going to have two watch standards, and that's pretty much it. You're allowed five people out of their racks, right? So here's what you guys do. You create a list. With the list, you're going to have that person's bunk number, right? Their address is what we call it. And you guys are going to create a list for whoever gets to iron. So people will be up ironing their clothes, and you're going to have all your clothes, like, perfectly squared away for the next day for inspections. And it's just, it, ironing is pretty vital. It's a vital part of boot camp. You want your clothes to be pretty much on point when it comes to inspections. So you're going to create a list, 
of people that need to iron, right? That way you can have five people out at a time and you're always accomplishing something. So you go to bed, you sleep, get some, get some Z's, and when it's your turn on the list, your shipmate's gonna come and wake you up. Hey man, it's your turn with the iron. Boom. I'm going to bed, right? So you guys are gonna figure out little things like this. But I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys, I'm gonna throw you guys some some golden nuggets in this video. So that's that's one thing of getting yourself squared away for the day. Now, the taps, you're gonna have section leaders. Typically, the section leaders will wake up at like three in the morning, four in the morning, and they'll start going and waking up people in their their sections a hey, go shave go shave go shave so really you start shaving at like three in the morning you're not breaking rules you're completely within standards guidelines rules all that stuff you're completely within sop standard operating procedure per procedures <laughs> so you go and you knock out your shaves by the time your rdc's get in you guys are pretty much done with your shaves now all you guys got to do make your bed clean the compartment Everybody's already shaved. Boom. So now you have an extra 15 minutes or whatever to do whatever else you need to do. Comes in handy. Now, let's talk about something else. All right, let's talk about hygiene. How in the world are you going to have 100 people, nearly, nearly 100 people, shower, change, clean the compartment, and do laundry in 45 minutes? How is that possible? Well, I'll tell you. What you do is you say, hey, today we're gonna have the aft side of the division shower first. Tomorrow will be the forward end. So you divide it. So half of the division goes in showers while the other half is cleaning the compartment, right? Boom. Halfway mark of the time that you're allotted, 45 minutes, whatever it is. Boom, they come out. They get dressed, they put their laundry in the, the hampers, and they begin continuing to clean. While the other half of the division goes and takes their showers. You're constantly working on multiple objectives at the same time as one unit. You're completely within your standard operating procedures. The hardest part about boot camp is figuring out how to manipulate the system, because the system is there for you to manipulate it. I know it sounds kind of crazy and no, 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 whatever. They don't care how you get the job done. As long as the job gets done as prescribed. That's it, you guys will be golden. Take care of each other, look out for each other, accomplish the mission, that's all that matters. And you guys are able to do that, you guys will become sailors. But that's it for the video, you guys. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys liked the video, obviously leave a like, leave a like, leave a like, leave a huge like, I would greatly appreciate it. Helps me out. I know I'm trying my best to help you guys out, so help me help you. If you catch my drift, leave a like. Also, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. I love talking to you guys. Talk to you guys all the time. I can't get enough. If you guys haven't, do me a huge favor. Add me on my Snapchat, my Instagram. The links to those are in the description below. Also, be sure to go check out all the other amazing and awesome content I put out there to help you guys out with boot camp, A school, all sorts of stuff. If you guys haven't seen those already. And also, if you guys so happen to like what you guys see, do me a huge favor and smash that subscribe button. It would mean the world and I'd love you forever. For real, do it. If you guys want to check out this sick t-shirt I'm wearing, be sure to check it out in the video description. I got a link to that shirt, so make sure you go check out some of them awesome shirts and whatnot. Snag yourself a pair and use my code. It'll save you guys some percentage off. It's awesome. It also supports the YouTube channel, so I greatly appreciate it. That's pretty much all I got for you today, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Hey Emily, what up? It's your boy Aaron. I just want to wish you the best of luck in boot camp. I'm so proud of you. You're going to go far. Um, some tips and tricks I would say for boot camp. Keep your head down low. Don't be afraid to volunteer and have fun. Most importantly, make sure you have fun. Boot camp is a lot of fun. It's not what you're going to be thinking. I'm telling you, it's a once in a lifetime experience. Not a lot of people get to experience and a lot of people take for granted. So make sure you make the most out of every day you possibly can. I'm super proud of you and I can't wait to hear from you when you graduate and become a United States sailor. I'm proud of you.